a Republican senator trying to derail President-elect Joe Biden's victory. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley says he will object to Congress certifying the Electoral College results. Now, it's highly unlikely that this will change the results of the election, but it could delay the process and force the House and Senate to vote on whether Biden won. CNBC's Eamon Javers is with us. So, Eamon, walk us through this process. How, how does it work? Yeah, contested. Look, the delay here is going to be less than a day. What Senator Hawley is saying is he's doing this because even an allegation of voter fraud deserves to be heard in Congress. Here's his statement. He says, at the very least, Congress should investigate allegations of voter fraud and adapt measures to secure the integrity of our elections. But Congress has so far failed to act. Democrats, well, they think that's terrible. Josh Hawley and anyone who supports his effort are engaged in the attempted overthrow of democracy. There is no evidence that there was any fraud. So what does that mean is going to happen on January 6th? Well, under the Constitution and the law, electoral college votes are counted in a joint session of Congress. If any one senator, along with a member of Congress, objects to that in writing, as Hawley says he's going to do, well, then they have to break up that joint session. The House and the Senate go vote separately. Majority vote wins. You have to win in both chambers in order for the objection to be sustained there. And that's why it's unlikely to happen, because the House, of course, is controlled by Democrats. And Nancy Pelosi and the Democratic Party are simply not going to allow this election to be overturned with their own votes. That's why Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, urged his fellow Republicans not to do what Hawley is doing here, because it's going to force a number of Republicans in the Senate now to take a vote that certifies Joe Biden as the winner of this election. And that could be an awkward vote for some of those Republicans. Nonetheless, Hawley's not going to succeed here, Contessa. We've seen this procedural move before. In fact, didn't it happen in 2005? That's right. Right after that 2004 election, we saw a, a Democrat and uh, in the Senate and in the House object to this. They were shot down, though, in those separate House-Senate votes. And we also saw a case back in 2001 when Al Gore was the sitting vice president presiding over the counting of his own Re-election, his own election to the presidency. He had to certify his own defeat. He shot down a number of attempts to object there, as you see there from Maxine Waters of California. Th that one didn't fly either. It has never succeeded in U.S. history. Contestant. Eamon Javers. Thanks, Eamon. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.